Scorpio, my what a sign Scorpio. What is up? What is good with y'all? So I'm getting this energy here before I get into the spread. I'm getting to this energy where whoever you're connected to, you may be separated from this person or withdrawn. But I was picking up this energy in you guys' pre-shuffle that this person that's coming towards you is coming with an apology. And they want to make some promises to you, but I feel like this person will break these promises. Okay, let's get into the spread and see what's coming through for my Scorpios. You have unvalued in the reverse. Okay, you have chaser in the reverse. You have the star. You're a shining star. No matter who you are, shining bright to see. What you could truly be, and beauty is her name. I'm hoping that I can make you mine, for another man steals your heart. So listen to that song. I'm going to put it in the playlist that I created for y'all. There is some messages there for you. So let's get into the spread. I feel like you were with someone who you did not take for granted. You did not take advantage of this person. You value this person. You saw this person's worth and value. Okay, you tried to balance things out the best way you could and create some sort of equal give and take or um, reciprocation in this connection with this person. And I feel like you made this person feel appreciated a lot. Okay, but you are the type of person that's not about to chase after this person who you are withdrawn or separated from. I feel like you're showing up with high self-esteem. You're in this energy of not having abandonment issues. So I'm hearing that song. Ain't none that cut that bitch off. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't none that cut that bitch off. Okay, so you don't have a problem with cutting people off. People, places, or things. This person finds that you are someone who can get any man or any woman that you want. Your beauty stands out. There's something about the way you dress, your hair, your looks that people are physically attracted to. And this person is intimidated by your beauty. They could be jealous of your beauty here. A lot of you have given up on love. A lot of you have given up and lost hope on something here. Okay. And I'm seeing that hope being renewed. It's being restored in your life. You may not see it coming. This may have happened already for some of you. But I see a bright future ahead of you. You guys have a lot of good things coming in for you. And you're doing the healing work to make sure that you don't block your own blessings. I feel like when this person comes back around though, they're going to be angry. They are angry. Okay. Because you have changed. You have stepped into a new self. A new you. Your higher self. Okay. These are long lasting changes. I do see um, a spiritual awakening, transformation. I see you evolving here with the butterflies. So butterflies are significant for some of you. You may have butterfly tattoos on your fingers, your hand, your shoulder. You may like to wear a butterfly pendant in your hair. You may have a chain or a bracelet with butterflies in it. Okay, or pictures on the wall, whether it's in your room or outside of your room. I feel like butterflies are very significant. And this person, they're angry. They're triggered by this new you. They don't like it. Ooh, Scorpio. They don't like this new you. This is somebody that has some sort of resentment or resenting you. They feel invalidated. Okay, yeah, this person is someone who mistreated you. They didn't treat you right in this connection. They're stalking you. I've been watching you. Watching me and I know you want it. This person is watching you secretly. You may know this by now. You may not. But they could be watching you from their friends page or a fake account here. They're curious about you. They're not over you. They are not over you. They don't want this to end. Okay. I feel like for some of you, they're checking your social media. For others of you, they're just very curious to know what is going on with you because they see you as their wish come true. Wish fulfillment. All that they have ever wanted. Dream guy, dream girl. And they're all up in their head. Creating a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts here. Overthinking. Creating the worst case scenarios about you. They're thinking about you a lot. 
They're thinking about you. They're thinking about giving you this love offer, a sincere offer of love, a romantic gift, or an expression of love here. But I feel like somebody is showing up with these mixed feelings. They're indecisive. They don't know what to do. They're weighing up the pros and the cons here. Their feelings are conflicted. And they're unsure of the relationship. So this could be you with these mixed feelings when this person comes back in with this love offer. Because I do feel like this person is keeping secrets. If this is not you with these mixed feelings, it's them. They got some secrets. They're either keeping you a secret or got a secret love or a secret admirer. They feel like you have a secret love or a secret admirer. Hmm. There's more to be revealed here. Okay, I feel like, yeah. You're healing, reevaluating your needs. I'm seeing self-love, self-care. You're moving forward. You're moving forward to a new love. Okay? So you may have a secret lover here or this person does. But I feel like... This person feels like you're healing and you found someone better. For others of you, you've met a new love interest. But this person definitely feels like you are letting go of these exes. You're letting go of them because you're not budging. You're not reaching out to this person. You're not chasing after them. They refuse to change. They're stubborn and flexible. And I feel like both of you are standing your ground. Yeah, because you see this person as someone who's two-faced it. Someone who has a lack of expression. Someone who has their true feelings. They may be feeling as though you're not reaching out to them. Because you're hiding your true feelings. Hmm. What is this person's intentions towards my Scorpio? What is this person's intentions towards my Scorpio? Sun, moon, or rising. Toxic. Is this their intentions? To be a bad influence on your life? To put you in a toxic relationship? This person is low vibrational. So it's going to be important for you to keep your vibration high. This person is no good for you. Okay. And they are they got some jealousy energy going on here. Ooh, they jealous. Because they want you to themselves. They don't want anyone else to have you. They don't know what to do. But they don't want anyone else to know. What your stuff is like, what it tastes like, what it look like, what it feel like, okay? They have an attachment to you. They fear losing you and they feel like you're putting this relationship to a finality. They feel like this is a permanent ending. They feel as though you're not giving them no more chances and saying goodbye to the old. But I'm telling y'all, this person is going to try to fight for the connection. They feel like you're worth fighting for. They feel like you are worth all the troubles yeah because this person is in their feelings looking at pictures of you or videos of you i feel like there's feelings of nostalgia here i feel like this person is thinking about the good times and the bad times because it's pleasure and sadness yeah and i also feel like someone is stuck in the past they're going to reach out to you to express some sort of interest they're going to reach out okay they want to speak to you and they could be giving you this romantic gift, pouring their feelings out to you for some of you, you know, wanting this, still wanting you, still wanting this connection. But right now you guys are just focused on work. They could be calling your job like, is such and such there? Can you put me through online too? Like they could be calling you at your job for some of you they're gonna show up at your job with work and reconciliation here oh no <laughs> some of y'all they're gonna show up at your job because you're focused on work you're working long and hard hours some of you could be doing doubles for others of you you could be working two different jobs but they want to make things right with you they want to make things work this unfinished business between the two of you I feel like spirit has something coming in for you that you least expect will unblocking here. Locked doors are opening, removing blockages. So you're removing blockages as far as love, finances, okay? Um, whatever other blockages you are removing, you're removing those blockages. Love is coming. So something is coming for you when you least expect it. Spirit has uh, some plans for you here, okay? Because there's new love here. And they feel as though you got somebody else. And that's why you're not reaching out to them. What's this person's intentions towards my 
Scorpio. I'm telling y'all. What? Heartbreak. What? Heartbreak. Why is the heartbreak here? Okay. So they're heartbroken because they want to protect this connection. They want to make it seem as though they didn't mean to hurt you. You broke up with them. Or they broke up with you. Someone is suffering and grieving the loss of the relationship. They're mourning the loss of this connection here. This soul connection. This spiritual connection. They're unable to move on. They're unable to move on. So their true intentions towards you is to not move on. I feel like, yeah. There's a need for you to set healthy boundaries when it comes to this person. This is someone that made you feel used or like a placeholder or an enabler. I feel like you didn't want any interferences. No third parties, no nothing. Okay, and this person just ghosted you abruptly. It was an abrupt ending where there was no closure. They ended all communication with you and they went and started talking about you. Be careful what you tell this person or what you tell other people. Because I feel like there is some gossiping going on here about you. Okay, look at this apology. They want to come in and apologize to you. I feel like they're going to make this promise or make some sort of promise to you and they're going to break it. They're going to break their promise. And I didn't even pull that card yet, but I'm just feeling that energy. Okay, this person still wants their freedom. That's how I feel. They want their freedom. They don't want to be tied down. But they're coming in with this apology. They want to make a confession to you and mend the relationship. But they keep going in circles with you. You're getting revenge on this player. Whoever this player is. They want to rebuild this connection. Rebuild the trust. They want to mend the relationship. This could be a friend. Coming in between the two of you. There's a friend here. Alright. What is, what is up with this friend? Okay, I feel like you put this person in a friend zone. They friend zoned you. They want to come back with an apology. They want to at least be your friend. So y'all can build trust on another level. And try to get back together. Knowing each other better. But I feel like there's a friend of yours here. Or a friend of theirs. Tell me more about this friend. My kids is yelling. That's why I'm getting kind of loud. My son knows that I'm working. So sometimes when he gets upset, he'll spite me and be loud and argue with his siblings. And I told him about that. But it's all right. Because he keep it up. He's going to be on punishment. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this person is hypnotized by you. If this is a friend. Ooh, you have their undivided attention. They find you hard to resist. This new love may be a friend first. You guys may have decided to be friends first. To get to know each other. And see, you know, where this goes. But somebody's captured by your love. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's some arguments that went on. Fights. Somebody's creating drama. Yeah, because they involved you in a third party situation. And they're going to have to sacrifice that third party. In order to show you that they have changed. In order to show you that they have leveled up. They're going to have to uh, sacrifice this third party. Yeah, because you're a soulmate. I feel like you see this person as someone who is an enemy to you. They put you in some sort of competition. Okay, it could be a friend of theirs here. This friend could be hypnotized by your person. And you could be getting into fights with this friend of yours. For some of you, this is not going to resonate with all of you. This friend is the third party. Oh, wow. For some of you, that's not going to be for everybody. One more to end the read. You may have been the third party. But either way, you are this person's soulmate. Yeah, they feel like y'all need time. This person is cursed. Whoever this ex is, they have a string of bad relationships. Every relationship they get into goes bad. They're going through a karmic cycle right now and they're sending you the evil eye. what I just tell you? They're going to break these promises to you. They've broken promises to other people too. They misled you. The trust is broken. They're unreliable. They wanted you to wait on them. And hold on to some sort of hope. 
that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out. But there was some standstills and delays here. And you accepted what has happened between the two of you. You're moving on. You're going down another route. You're going down another path. And you're on the right track. Some of you are divorcing this person. Some of you are not married to this person. And the relationship is just very complicated between you and this person. For others of you, separation will be costly. So I'm seeing legal fees and alimony. I did say one more. But this person has an addiction. They're addicted to you. They got some bad habits. Addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol. Oh, they got themselves caught up in an unpleasant situation. They feel stuck and they feel like they can't escape from it. What, what was this unpleasant situation this person got themselves into? Spirit, what is this? What is this bad, unpleasant situation that this person has gotten themselves into? This person may be the type that gambles. So they may gamble away their money. They hope that you haven't found someone else. Some of y'all already did. They feel like you're doing way better since you left them. They feel like you're doing better now since you were with them. They feel like you're doing much better. They feel like you're financially independent. They feel as though some blessings is coming in for you. They're realizing how foolish they were. They made foolish choices, carelessness type of energy. They weren't serious about you. They weren't serious about this connection. You don't take anything they say seriously. They play games, head games, mind games. They play tricks. They like to trick people. And now they're in this energy of regret. Feeling regretful and remorseful and wanting to undo the damage because they realize their foolish acts and their foolish ways and they regret the foolish choices that they made. They regret stringing you along in this connection, giving you false hope, um, you know, making you wait. Their intentions for the connection was very selfish. This person was only worried about themselves. And I feel like that's what caused the separation or some sort of withdrawal. This person, you feel like they just keep testing you or testing the relationship. The relationship broke down because of this person. But I feel like this person's going to come in with an engagement a commitment, a promise to you to make it official. They want to marry you, but they're going to love bomb you into accepting this offer. Yeah, I feel like this is emotional manipulation. This person's a ladies man, a Casanova. They want your attention. Yeah, because you're starting this new cycle, brand new beginnings. An ending brings a brand new beginning. And I feel like this is a fresh new start coming in for you. You're going towards something new. You could be like I said. You could be getting into a new relationship, like I said, or you could be relocating, changing homes. You may live with this person now. Y'all may live with family members for some of you, for others of you. They think they could just come back whenever they want. Oh, Lord. But you may feel like this person is lying if they send you messages. You may feel like these messages are fake. This person is having financial issues. So they feel like they can't provide or give you anything. And they're reaching their breaking point. They're losing emotional strength and they're on the verge of something. I feel like what they got themselves caught up in is they may have gotten someone else pregnant. So they got somebody else pregnant knowing that their happiness is with you. And I feel like they are living this life of misery for some of you. For others of you, you guys may have talked about getting pregnant, building a family together. Some of you guys are connected to someone that rides a loud motorcycle. I don't know anyone who does, but you may know someone who does. Um, if you are sure that your person didn't get someone else pregnant... You could be pregnant by this person right now. But they're starting to realize their love for you. They're going through a hard space awakening. Yeah, because they, no one compares to you. I feel like this person tried to replace you with this third party. They tried to make this person some sort of a soulmate. Try to make it seem like they changed or they're happy with this other person. But no. It didn't work out. 
They broke promises to this other person just like they broke to you. And they got some serious addictions. They really do. They have some serious addictions. Gambling, smoking, drinking, binge watching, whatever. This person may smoke or drink at the thought of you. Like they're stressed out over you. So they may smoke or do some drinking. Let's get into some more messages and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Messages for Scorpios. Messages for Scorpios. Spirit, yeah. See, your heart is locked down. Okay? You're not open for love, but when you are, whoever this is coming towards you is going to need the combination. So they're going to need you to be like trusting them and knowing that you can open up your heart to them otherwise your heart will be closed off i feel like by the fall season you guys may get into a connection whether it's this fall next fall it says this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship your mind okay someone's gonna text you show you a lot of attention by the fall season it says you are on my mind i miss you and can't get enough of you so someone can't get enough of you I feel like this person can't keep their hands off of you. For some of you, somebody's locked up. For others of you, someone is not. They may have legal issues. But the ones who resonate with this, this person's a street dude. They're going to call you unexpectedly, telling you they're being released or they have no bond at all. I told you, somebody has an addiction. It says, when I'm stressed about you, I smoke or drink. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody smokes or they drink when they think about you. This could be somebody that is locked up. But they pissed off. Or they will be getting pissed off. Get prepared, y'all. Because I feel like this person going to get so pissed off, their head going to blow off. Okay, they got caught or they're getting caught. Secrets coming to light or they've been revealed already. Someone is exposed. Guilty. I see confessions coming out too. Some confessions. Just when I thought I said I let say my chick on the side. Said she got one on the way. Okay, yeah. You guys are connected to an earth sign. Or you have earth highly aspected in your chart. There's a mature man coming towards you. Or you are this mature man. Someone who's young, grounded, and practical. Self-made, ambitious, and owns everything. You may have dreads or someone you know has dreads. Whether it's the new or the old, somebody's going to keep chasing you. They're going to chase you down. They don't want to leave you alone. They don't want to stop. I just don't want to stop too much. Never too much. Never too much. Never too much. This person's going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. Why? Like, why are they bothering me? Well, because they see you as marriage material. They love everything about you. They don't hate anything about you. And this is an ex. Yep. Ex-lover. Coming back to reconcile. It says, I want you back. I realize you're the only one for me. I don't want anyone else. They only want to be with you. And you're like, I don't know, y'all. I'm unsure of them. You're indecisive. You're like, I don't know. I don't know. There could be a secret work lover who secretly wants you. It says we can be a great team together. I love that you're smart and ambitious. So somebody like you or you liking somebody at work. This person may know you like them and they may not for some of you. But I feel like you. there is somebody here that you like or somebody here likes you. And you don't know who it is. But you will soon find out. And if you know who this person is, then that's fine. Okay, let's get into the tarot. I'm going to just do one shuffle. And then we're going to get into this energy. What is your person's true intentions towards my Scorpios? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Give me one card. Give me clear, honest messages for Scorpios and love. Scorpios and love for August 2023. Someone rides the Venus. No, no, Scorpio. What's this? Okay, three cards fell. Ooh, that does not belong in the deck, you guys. I'm so sorry. 
Oh. Ooh, okay. This person is obsessively thinking about you. Like, they're obsessed. They are obsessed with you. Okay, yeah. I feel like this person feels as though they have a strong hold on you. This person definitely has some addictions here. Gambling, sex, drugs, alcohol. It's something toxic about this person. Low vibe. They may have a jacked up mindset. The way they think is unhealthy. They, their health may be unhealthy. Or they're just low vibrational. This could be a Capricorn that you're connected to. This person is obsessively thinking about somebody who they got pregnant. I feel like this person fell into temptation and got somebody pregnant. For others of you, they're obsessively thinking about you because you're pregnant. But you're not going to settle. No, no, no. You're the empress, male or female. You're not going to settle for anything less than what you feel you truly deserve here, okay? Yeah, this person is obsessed with your beauty. They're angry. They're angry because you're looking good. There's a glow up happening for you. And they're angry. They're, they're angry with this new you. They are. they like, oh my gosh. They want to come towards you. They want to move towards you with the chariot. Cancer energy. But I feel like a lot of you could be relocating. You're getting a new home. Or this person has a home. Or they're getting a new home. Or y'all may have talked about moving in together in the past. And this person wants to come towards you and pop the question. Make an announcement. They want to come to your house. Four of Wands. This person wants to reunite with you. They see you as their twin flame. But this is someone that plays head games and mind games with you. Put you in some sort of competition. They could be doing something to spite you. Or they feel like you're getting revenge and spiting them. They're stressed out. The Nine of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They are stressed out. Losing hair. Losing sleep. Losing weight. Losing their mind. Losing their damn mind. Because they have fear. You know, they have fear that you are walking away. You may have walked away already, but they don't want you to walk away. Don't walk away, boy or girl. My love won't hurt you. Don't walk away, boy. I'll be right there for you. All the songs that I channel in these readings, I'm going to be posted in the playlist. So you guys check out the playlists. There's a lot of songs in there for you guys to listen to. There's messages in there for you guys. But yeah, this person wants to manifest you back into their life. Because they feel as though you have emotionally detached from them. You have left all the plans and all the love, the emotion, everything behind. They feel like you have abandoned them and you're going towards your nine of cups, which is your happiness, your emotional fulfillment. Okay. And they want to manifest you, even if they have to be tricky and use all the tricks that they have up their sleeve to try to get you back. They will try and they're not going to stop. They're going to use all the tools and the resources accessible to them that they have. To try to manifest you. Whether this is doing mantra, spell work. Or some sort of chanting. They're going to do it. They may be doing some candle lightning work. Love spells. Come to me spells. Or something with the magician. The spell work. And with the devil at the top. That is black magic you guys. Black. The devil and the magician together is black magic. Nothing but black. And I'm telling you. It's going to backfire on them with the Five of Swords. Where they're going to be stressed out. Having headaches. Having nightmares. Because they play these games with an the Empress. They play games with a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine. They didn't know who you were. 
But now they see your worth and value. And this person may even offer you a car. A truck. They may offer to put you in a new place. But like I said. This person is deceptive. They want to win you over. No matter what they have to do. Say or whatever. They want to win you over at all costs. No matter what it takes. They want to get to you. They want to get to you. Okay. And this person could be stressing y'all out ever since you walked away. Because they keep doing this spell work on you. They keep trying to do this spell work on you. For some of you, not all of you. They are doing spell work. Some of y'all may not be stressed out and some of y'all are. But I feel like this person caused some disappointment in you guys' energy. Because I feel like you didn't want to walk away from this person. But you had to because the stress was just overburdened. It was just too much. The stress was just too much. This is somebody that lies. A habitual liar. I feel like when they come back around, you may not believe anything that they're saying. You don't trust this person. This person is trying to get away with something. Trying to be sneaky. They're plotting and planning something. They're plotting. They're being very strategic. They're moving in silence. Spirit is asking you to be cautious when it comes to this person. You're being protected. Okay. Justice is here in your favor. Balance is being restored. This person is trying to escape from some sort of legal issue. Or they did like some sort of robbery or burglary. And they have these legal issues here. I feel like a lot of you Scorpios may be divorcing this person. I'm seeing legal fees. I'm seeing alimony in this person. They may try to escape or get away. You know, this person may be a flight risk. So if they have legal issues or even if they're facing a divorce, they may try to get away and like get away with something. They could be lying in court for some of y'all or they, they're going to lie in court. Two of Swords, you're being protected. I'm so shocked that the Temperance is not here. Because with the Temperance and the Two of Swords, any weapon formed against you shall not prosper. You're being protected. Okay, I feel like you and this person may end up going to spiritual court. If this is not actual court, it may be spiritual court. The worst is over. With the Ten of Swords. This was a painful ending that you had to go through with this person. And the worst is over. The worst is over. Those days of you crying and being sad and disappointed and feeling defeated is over. This person from the past is holding on to you. And I feel like they're going to come through and pour their feelings out to you. Could be connected to a Libra. The high priestess. Yep, see, I told y'all. Y'all being protected. The two of swords, high priestess. Those are spirit guides. You're being protected by your spirit guides. Your spirit guides is blocking you from this person. With the two of swords and the high priestess. This person, yeah. Your spirit guides are blocking you from this person. Because I feel like you intuit intuitively know this already. You intuitively know that your person is keeping secrets from you. That they're being secretive. This person's first or last initials may begin or end with B or J. I feel like there's some sort of divination here. Spiritual divination. I do see that you guys are listening to your intuition. Okay. Yeah, you know this person is coming towards you. Could be in another month or within the next year. They want you to stop holding back. But I feel like you know this person is going to go through a tower moment. Something, yeah. Yeah. This spirit, your spirit guide is blocking you from this person. So their karma won't affect you. Because I feel like they're going through a tower moment. Something unexpected is happening in this person's life. There's a shake up happening for this person. Some of y'all may have been indecisive as to what to do. And I feel like spirit shook some things up for you. However, something unexpected is about to happen. 
I feel like this is going to come out of nowhere. Your intuition already knows about this. Your intuition is telling you about some sort of tower moment, shake up, break up, divorce, something. Someone's life is falling apart. There may have been um, a natural disaster that happened here. This person may go through a tower moment at work. What is this tower? Give me one more card to end the read. What is this tower for my Scorpios? What is this tower? What is this tower for my Scorpio? This person may have to get surgery. Or they've been in an accident. Some of y'all may be getting surgery. This person, I feel like they're going to face some challenges in their life. Where they're going to feel drained and burdened and overworked and overburdened and weighed down. This person has a lot of baggage. All right. This person comes with a lot of burden. And I feel like you're dropping these burdens. You're putting these burdens down. And you're going towards a brand new passionate beginning. Something you're very passionate about. Okay. I feel like this is the right project for you. You guys may be getting a tarot course. Some of you may be tarot readers. Some of you are just very intuitive. You may have intuitive gifts that you're putting out there or psychic abilities that you're putting out there for the world to see. There's potential for growth and whatever it is that you're about to start is not set in stone yet with the Ace of Wands not hitting the floor, but I feel like it's about to be. This is the right project. Spirit says go ahead and go for it. Whatever this is that you're working on. This is something you're very passionate about. This person is struggling. I feel like I'm I'm feeling sexual frustration. This person is jacking off or playing with themselves. They may even try to send you some nudes. And you like, uh-uh. 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 No. You're putting your foot down. You're setting healthy boundaries. Yeah. You're not in love with this person anymore. Two of cups in reverse. This person is a bully. They're aggressive. They are abusive. Y'all broke up from this person. Or there's a divorce at play. This person wants to sleep with you. But this is someone you're disconnected from. I feel like you've lost a friend. For a small portion of you. Your friend wants to sleep with your person. That's for a small portion of you. Not everybody's going to resonate with that. But I am seeing someone lost a friendship. Or there was arguments here. Or disconnect. This person may not have many friends. They want a second chance with you. But... Mm, there's a new love coming towards you. A secret admirer or somebody. Yeah, I feel like you fell out of love with this person. You just grew apart. Two of cups in the reverse. I feel like both of you may disrespect each other. When y'all arguing, there's no respect. This is not a partnership. I feel like you guys have broke the soul tie with this person. Okay, you don't feel like this person is your other half. You feel like this person is basically a karmic. I'm surprised the Wheel of Fortune not in the reverse. Or I'm surprised it didn't come out in the reverse. Because I do feel this energy where this is a karmic. Some of y'all may have been sleeping with this person. And you've been feeling drained. Like just over it. Overworked, overburdened. Weighed down. They want to sleep with you for real. But this is somebody that you don't even love. 
for real. This is somebody that you're getting over or you already gotten over this person and you're moving on. Whether it's with a new love or on your own for now. Some of you are not ready for new love. Some of you are. Some of you got a new person coming towards you if you're interested. Some of you don't want to take the opportunity. You just want to take some time out to heal from what has happened. Some of you have already healed and you're moving on with your life. And you're not waiting for this person anymore. You're not chasing after them. You're not allowing them to make you sit and be an enabler or a placeholder. You're replacing. You're not chasing. Okay, Scorpio. So that is your messages. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this is your story, if it resonates with you, and if you want to see more readings like this, all you will simply have to do is like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn your post notifications on, y'all, so I know that y'all know. So every time I drop a reading for you guys, you guys will always be notified. I love you guys so, so much. Make sure to turn your post notifications on and leave me a comment down in the comment section. Until next time, bye Scorpio. I'll see y'all in the next reading.